What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to save SHSH blobs that Apple isn't necessarily signing. So these are gonna come directly from your device. Now in order to do this, you are going to have to be jailbroken and you need to download and install Apple File Conduit 2. So this is a tweak within Cydia, so just download and install that. And then once you have that installed, then of course you're going to need Tiny Umbrella which I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on as well as Java in order to run tiny umbrella. So at that point, all you need to do is go ahead and open up tiny umbrella and that should go ahead and launch. Now, if you haven't opened up tiny umbrella before, and this is the first time that you've actually been using it, then let your device go ahead and download all the SHSH blobs that are being signed by Apple. So all you have to do in order to do that is open up tiny umbrella and plug in your device. Now, for this next part, this is going to require you to be jailbroken and to have Apple File Conduit 2. So, of course, once you have that done, all you need to do is make sure that your device is connected. And you can see that my device is connected right here. I have the iPhone 6 Plus. And then you can right-click on the device and then click on Fetch SHSH Blobs on Device. So, just click on that. And if for some reason you get this pop-up right here and it says Apple File Conduit 2 is not found, go install it with Cydia then it's possible that it's just a bug. So all you need to do is just unplug and plug in your device again. So it's possible that this is only a bug that if you have your device plugged in before you uh, open up Tiny Umbrella, then it could give you this error. So just keep that in mind. If you get that, just go ahead and unplug and plug it back in. Now we're gonna click on Fetch SHSH Blobs again, and you can see right here that it's gonna go ahead and download the SHSH blobs from my device. And you can see right here that I have 8.1.2 now. So that's all that it does. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with blobs and what they do, they basically allow you to downgrade when you have a tool that can actually stitch an IPSW that will allow you to trick Apple into thinking that your IPSW is signed and then you can downgrade to that specific version. So I highly recommend you guys to do this, especially if you're already jailbroken, then it's definitely worth saving these blobs in order to have them for future use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments whatsoever, be sure to leave those in the comments below or you can go to iphonehacks.com and check out the article there and get some support from the comments. All right guys, until next time, peace.